Drum reinforcing, layering, and track supporting has been an industry standard practice in audio production since home recording studios have become more popular. And Drum Replacer, available here in Sonar Platinum Series software, is a new and powerful flexible application designed to do just this and more. Let's check it out. Drum layering and reinforcing is a common technique used to often add things like definition, power, and color to your drum tracks. Imagine having zero latency triggering and an easy to use interface, all with real time drag and drop performance, just to name a few. Drum Replacer is all that and more. To get started, I loaded a live drum session here. Let's take a listen. Nice tones and a good performance. The snare is a little weak, however, and of course, there's some hi-hat bleed in this track. Now keep in mind, this process works on any percussion or rhythm track at all using Drum Replacer. To start reinforcing and layering sounds on this snare, or any other track in this drum group, select it like so, and analyze it with Drum Replacer. Drum Replacer is an ARA effect. ARA is Audio Random Access, and it is the second plugin of its kind, following Celimony's Melodyne. Choose Region Effects, Drum Replacer, Create Region Effects. Once the track is analyzed, it is now completely ready to use. These three lanes are three layers of possible added sounds for mixing into and with the original source audio. What you're seeing here are the identified transients for each snare drum strike. Before you begin, fine tune the detection with drum replacer settings. First, each lane can be activated or deactivated here. This is good for a being your work. Above is our waveform display box and next the filter knob. Use this parameter adjustment to sweep for the strongest transients and hits displayed here in the lanes. I'll do this for the following three lanes too. Next, interval. This will help match the analysis with the particular kind of performance. A faster time for faster hits, slower time for slower ones. Always adjust for best results. Now set the threshold level setting here to a degree that marks the transients that you're looking for. These transients will be the ones that trigger our samples when we're layering the new sounds. There's some possible hi-hat bleed in this mix, so you want to be careful. You can also deselect the transient marker by clicking its red colored base marker here. Again, great for fine tuning your detection. Now load a sample and you're ready to go. By default, Drum Replacer comes with a huge number of samples to help you get started. Use the drop down arrow here to select one, or just click in the waveform box here to open them up this way. You can also use drag and drop features from any file folder in your system, from a favorites folder, for example. Drum Replacer supports .wav files and .fsz files. Use the wet dry slider here to blend your new signals with the original audio or anywhere in between. Also, each lane features an individual output level for further mixing in capabilities. Let's repeat this process now in the two following additional drum replacer lanes that we have, really layering up some sounds and reinforcing the snare drum hit. Drum Replacer is available now exclusively in Sonar Platinum Series software. For more information, visit cakewalk.com.